Hello again. It's me. Just giving like a update or an addendum. It's uh, December 23rd, 2022. About 6.30 on the East Coast here in North Georgia. This is Michael. And um, despite the way my face looks uh, and feels as well as other parts. I actually feel pretty good. The skin irritation, I'll get a little closer, so... I know it's kind of gross, but... That's what Vectavix did, along with... an emotional fucking joyride that I wouldn't wish on Hitler. But that lasted for about six days. Seven, maybe, but last day or so, I've felt pretty good. You know, been able to eat, bowel and bladder, even have the energy to take a walk here and there. You know, I haven't been able to properly rehab my total hip replacement. But, or at least I haven't been able to properly do it the way I fucking want to do it. But then again, staying alive is a little more, I guess, higher priority. But <laughs> even with the chilling temperatures outside, I, I feel okay. Or I, f I feel better. Than I did, obviously, but um, you know, the first couple of days of chemo, and I hate to think that the Vectavix made all the difference because that was a level of hell that I don't want to go back through. But I feel good now. And it was weird, um, been constantly fighting this shit for, you know, like three years. Knowingly fighting it, but um, I was doing my regiment this morning with, you know, vitamins and what have you and other protocol that helps out, hopefully it helps out. Um, and it dawned on me that, yeah, I want to, I want to fight this, I want to live, I want to, maybe I always thought that and I just didn't put words to it or maybe I never did. And that's why I didn't do chemo back in 2019, I was scared. It was right before um, COVID-19 hit and the oncologist that I was dealing with was a fucking swaggering peacock asshole fucking idiot. I can't stand him. He wouldn't even look me in the eye. I asked to see him several times and when he finally condescended to come in and see me, he wouldn't make eye contact and just said, so you want a referral? And then he left the room and left me to his PA again. So, yeah, fuck him. But maybe I should have done it. Maybe my arrogance got in the way. But I didn't like my chances of going through chemo during COVID. I mean, I don't like going through chemo now, but... I guess this long-winded bullshit is just to remind myself that there are good days. And I had a good day with my wife today. And she had a good day with me. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> I hope some of this is helping somebody. 
because I know it's helping me. Love you all. Happy Christmas and all that other nonsense. Love you.